What's going on guys? Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Hope everybody's okay. I'm pretty good this morning. Got my cup of tea and I'm just playing around in Inkscape. Yesterday on one of the layers groups somebody asked the question of how do I make a cut from the outstroke? So basically this, this test image at the top was what they had. They just copied and pasted the same letter in and they made a thick black stroke on the outside and they wanted to know how to cut the outside of the lettering and the inside of the stroke at the same time. So the issue with this is it looks okay on the screen. I mean, I could set the colors the other way around so that the inside was black and the outside was red and it'd look like it'd want to cut the inside and the outside, but it wouldn't. You'd have to have the vector cut like this. Uh, otherwise Inkscape would just take the center of the stroke line and use that as the cut. Uh, I've got another video on that on testing strokes, whether or not the stroke makes a difference to the cut in uh, K-Flight Whisperer. And it doesn't, it just takes the center of the stroke line. So even if you had a 50 pixel stroke, it'd still take it as the one pixel right in the center. So this, although it looks good on screen it looks all right it isn't so I'll tell you how to get from this to this and it's very simple really so we'll take off this top layer we don't need that I'll take the color back out of this I'll set a stroke on there um, we'll leave that as black for now I'll delete this one because we don't need that one anymore so what we do is we you do take a copy of this one uh, you don't need to lay it on top, you can just put it exactly anywhere you want because it's going to be the exact size anyway. Highlight that selection, come up to path and you have two options here, you've got dynamic offset and linked offset. Dynamic offset will just change the one that you have, so you just click this little node here and you pull it down and it just changes the one that you have. And that's not what we want, we want to change we want to have two different ones, so we want we still want to keep the outside and then we want the inside. So it isn't a dynamic offset. So we'll, so we'll come back up to path and we will choose linked offset. What this does is it creates a copy of the top layer. As you can see it's slightly darker. So it creates a copy of it and then it adds it adds the node on the top to be dragging this down. And all you do is, again, you just drag it down, it is going to want to snap. So I just take it over to the side over here, and that's perfect. To measure how far you have got with uh, the distance, uh, I just zoom in a little bit, click on there, just drag it across. So that gives me a 0.66 millimeter stroke. If you want it to move it again, you just drag it across. So just keep an eye on this little bit down here, and then you can move it roughly to the size that you want. The issue I've found is you can't use these options to move this node. You can't select just that node and move it, which is a bit upsetting really, because you can't set it to the exact amount. But, once you're done, we'll zoom back out again, you highlight both sections and combine them, path, combine, and then you can move both around, set the stroke to both, so if we set it for a cut stroke, we want 255, there we go, you can, that's now exactly the same outside size as this one and the inside is offset to roughly half a millimeter. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps anybody. Uh, if it did help you, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.